The Rockford Ice Dogs and Iowa Wild close out their home and home weekend series tonight out at BMO Harris Bank Center. Hello, everybody. Joseph Zakshesky once again with you for Ice Dogs TV as we take a deep dive into tonight's matchup with your Ice Dogs game preview. The Hogs roll into tonight's matchup with a record of 17-15-3-1 and one, and then move back up to third place in the Central Division where they're taking on the Iowa Wild team, nipping at their heels once again in fourth place at an 18-17-2-2 pace. The Ice Dogs are happy to be back home and complete their home-and-home -home weekend against the Wild and play in their final game before the AHL All-Star break. They would open up the weekend last night at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines and skate away with a 4-2 victory in what was another very physical penalty-filled affair. We would see 84 combined penalty minutes last night a new season high for your Ice Hogs, and Rockford alone would have 42 penalty minutes, which would also be a season high. Defenseman Ian Mitchell would lead the way for Rockford. He would score on the power play in the opening period to kick off the game scoring, and it would be the first of a two-goal performance for him, his first of his career. Forward Evan Barrett would also strike, and leading scorer Lucas Reichel would add a goal and an assist to help the Ice Hogs on to victory, and Rockford was an impressive two for three on the power play against a highly impressive penalty kill in the Iowa Wild. And goaltender Arvid Soderblom, another stellar performance in net 33 saves for the win. For the Wild, they would see a three-game winning streak come to a close in their loss to Rockford. Bryce Misley and Dakota Mermis would grab their only goals in the third period in hopes for the comeback effort. In the head-to-head -head series, tonight is the seventh of 12 meetings between the two clubs. The Ice Hogs a 2-2 and 2 record, and the Ice Hogs gave Iowa their very first regulation loss of the head-to-head -head series last night in the 4-2 win. Defenseman Ian Mitchell and forward Lucas Reichel have taken over the Ice Hogs team lead in point production against the Wild. They each have two goals and four assists for six points in the series. Let's take a look at the Lou Backrod Autumn All three keys to the contest for your Ice Hogs this evening. Key number one is to have early energy. Both of these clubs would travel after the game last night, get into the BMO and the wee hours of the morning. So it's whoever can come out with the strongest push, the most energy, will certainly dictate pace. And key number two for your Ice Hogs is to play the full 60 minutes. This is the final game before the AHL All-Star break. Certainly a lot of players excited about taking some time off, visiting with family and friends, but they know the task at hand is going to be a tough one in the Iowa Wild here tonight. And that rolls right into key number three is to simply outwork the opposition. The Ice Hogs, when battling last night, winning over those 50-50 pucks, generated a lot of chances and turnovers, creating offense and on the wild netminders. So for them, they're just going to have to simply outwork, use that early energy, and play the full 60 minutes to see success against the Wild this evening. The Ice Hogs look to head into the All-Star break on a high note this evening and another two points in the Central Division standings as they cross paths with the Iowa Wild at BMO Harris Bank Center. It's also a special giveaway night tonight. The first 1,500 fans grab an Ice Hogs cooler bag thanks to our friends at Pepsi. Go Ice Hogs, and thanks for tuning in to today's Rockford Ice Hogs Game Preview.